Hi guys, Sherry here from No Facts Game Crew. How's it going? Divine Masculine. So this is going to be a reading uh, for you guys from April the 14th until the 22nd. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I just wanted to mention that I did a draw for the patrons um, for the free deck and Angela Dawson won the deck. So I will be uh, messaging you and if the prize isn't claimed by the next time I do my readings then we'll pull it again. Okay, so I think we'll do the uh, Celtic Wing, and I'm just going to use my deck. Alright, so starting with the present position, hope. So the masculine is feeling, you know, that, that he's in this peaceful stage. Um, you know, it seems to me that he's been through a major awakening and rebirth in the past uh, so it's a very calming energy that's coming in for him now and so he feels hopeful about the future um, and that what he's desired is going to come true so he feels like his wishes and dreams are coming true so what is the foundation that he's standing on is the muse so this is very loving energy and he could be sending out messages of love um, but it is desiring to rekindle or start, uh, you know, to strengthen a bond or start a connection, a love connection with, with somebody. So he could be um, also inspired creatively as well. So he could be the muse inspiring someone or um, he feels inspired. I'm just going to pull one card from this other deck. I, I shuffled it before I came on. Uh, so the student. So we got two pages here. So it's like he's focusing on a long-term goal. He's beginning this new um, life or new venture, new career, new you know, course that he has to take. I don't know. But He's also desiring to show his emotions or connect. So this is what he's, sta he's standing on, this, this newness, this new beginning, this, um, you know, there's a lot of trials and tribulations ahead. So he made a decision to go in a different direction and that upset the balance um, and he's healing from that. So what is in the pre the past is again healing energy for swords. So again, it shows that there's something very you know traumatic happened. The card before this is a three of swords, which is heartbreak. So he's coming out of negative and into a more soothing, healing energy. Are you able to see those? Okay. So. What is it that he is would like is the moon. So this is his fears, um, you know, his shadow side as well. So what he wants is to face his fears, to come out of the darkness into the light. Um, the crowning energy for the twin flame reading was harmony. Uh, the overall energy was the two of wands, which is... Um, seeing all the possibilities rising above. So it's definitely showing that there's a desire to deal with conflict, with negative thoughts, negative people, um, facing his shadow side. I'm going to pull one card here. Another page. Wow. So the free spirit is somebody who's very playful, who is happy, excited. Um, you know, they're they just 
a joy to be around. So this could also mean great news. Um, but this is what he wants, is to start a new phase of his life. And um, instead of being encumbered by, you know, his shallow side of, and negativity, uh, he wants to feel empowered and excited about life and feel adventurous. What is in the near future? Another page. Oh, my God. So all the pages are here. So the page of swords is uh, free thinker. Um, now, this was also part of the crowning energy. So he wants to express himself. He has something to say. He has a truth. So either this is him speaking or receiving um, a message or some type of communication. So the Four of Cups was showing up in the masculine's present position for the Twin Flame reading. So this is the ghosting card. So I feel that this is a resolution of it. And, um, you know, we really saw that in the Twin Flame reading as well. There's this, um, you know, turning your back on the connection in order to pursue something. But... Um, it's kind of always in the back of your mind. And so either you receive communication from someone who's ghosting or um, you communicate. So what are you resisting? Is the rock star. So you're resisting feeling um, motivated, empowered, uh, encouraged. You're, you're, you don't feel successful. You don't feel like you're being acknowledged. You're resisting. There's that uh, Knight of Pentacles again. So this is very slow movement, taking things one step at a time to reach that goal, right? So it showed up in your past position in the Twin Flame reading. So you were taking it slow. Um, you came, you know, it, it, the card that was accompanying it was the Judgment card. So there was this moment of awakening um, and taking it slow, you know, it's almost like you were guiding it or making the choices very distinctly and, you know, you, you thought about it a lot. Um, now you're resisting feeling successful about it. You're, you don't feel like you've achieved or being recognized for it. So what is happening internally is the yang, authenticity, power, strength, um, very fiery energy here of, you know, being in charge, in control, and taking action, knowing who you are at the core. So there is this major sense of um, power internally that's grounding you. What's in your external environment? Another fire card, strength. So there may be somebody who is encouraging you or you know helping you, guiding you, um, a loving family member, or it could be the feminine, you know, someone to you know, a shoulder to cry on, or just this gentle strength uh, is in your external environment. Uh, so that's great. You know, it's you need to talk about something that really hurt you. Um, there's a lot of new beginnings here, and I feel that you know there is somebody there that can help you, uh, comfort you. Don't be that hard um, emperor that you know, push people away, um, keep people at arm's length, uh, reach out and express yourself. So what is it you will get is the sun card again. Well, this came in the foundation. Um, it was accompanied with the eight of swords. So what you want is the moon and what you will get is the sun. So very opposite energies here. 
uh, what you wanted was to be the free spirit, right? And break out of the darkness. And I, I feel that's what you get again. So this is another rebirth or, you know, just being happy on top of the world. You're resisting feeling like the rock star and um, being excited and in that playful energy again. And this is the absolute most perfect card to show that that's what you'll get if you are if you stay on the path that you're on right now things will change um and everything will work out it's a resounding yes so what is the summary outcome is the vibe tribe uh, so this is friendships um, celebrating life feeling love uh, and celebrating that love so you know, because that Four of Cups keeps showing up and the sense of you disconnecting in order to heal, um, you are moving into a phase of celebration and happiness and connectedness. So you just need to turn around and see that that energy is, is there surrounding you. So it's a time to play. Okay, and so what is the final outcome? There's that Seven of Cups again. That's hilarious. This was your final outcome for the Twin Flame reading. Follow your heart. And it showed up with the Two of Cups. So let's just see what the clarifier is. Wow. The Ace of Wands. So spark of inspiration. Um, again, new beginning. Uh, so it's like you're taking hold of that wand, that inspired idea, that that newness, that new beginning, and making a decision about it and moving forward um, you know I also see the ace of wands as one light right and so the the two of cups showed up in the twin flame and that I felt you know that was the twin flame that the two wands together so it is kind of mirroring it in that way but there's this go like go time thrust forward where there was stagnation um, and confusion about a decision, there is um, decision made. It has to do with love, feeling that connection in the ethereal realm. Okay, so let's pull one final card as a message from the universe. Hopefully the camera's not going to shut off on me here. What final messages do you have for the masculines? Stardust Angel. So... This is, I believe, about, you know, divine guidance. Number 22. Okay. Celestial Council of the Night, steer me soundly with your light. Navigate, instruct, advise, share your knowledge, make me wise. Enlighten me, help me decide, be my astral spirit guide. Yeah, enlighten me. He wants enlightenment, and there's that aha and excitement and everything working out. A dazzling beauty floats on the water, but her gaze is fixed towards the sky. Her soulful eyes seek guidance from the heavens that are radiantly reflected in her hair. So the meaning is, follow your guiding star. We all have someone in our lives that we can look to as role models, somebody who can guide, and that's what I was getting with the strength card. Someone who can guide us in a time of trouble or uncertainty. Now is such a time, and it is in your best interest to turn to this person or to follow his or her example. Their wisdom, good sense, and strong moral compass are precisely what you need to get your life back on track. Um, and that's it. Yeah, so yeah, right. Reach out, connect, um, find your vibe tribe. You are being... Um, surrounded by loving souls all right so i hope this helped you guys please like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment all right cheers